Hello everyone, welcome back to Sanella Yoga Practice. In today's flow, we are going to be focusing on building a strong foundation. If you are new to yoga practice, it's simple, it's effective, and very easy to follow. Before we begin this practice, make sure to subscribe and share, leave your comments below this video so I know what you guys like, what works for you the best, or if you have any suggestions for me. Now, let's begin the practice. Sit nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, heart is lifted, close your eyes, and let's take three gentle deep breaths. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Take a moment to send your intention for your practice. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Open your eyes. Beautiful. Now inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, release your right hand beside your body, move into that side stretch, take a deep breath as you focus on lengthening and opening your side body. Come back to your center, switch to your other side, take a deep breath. Taking your time here, coming back to your center, both arms up and gently twist to your right. Keep your spine long, shoulders relaxed, relaxed as you look over that right shoulder. Take a deep breath. Center, do the other side. Take a deep breath. Come back to your center and gently walk a little bit forward. Relax your head down. Take a deep breath. and walk back to your center. Now we're gonna move into all fours. You're gonna warm up that spine a little bit more. Make sure your arms come directly down from your shoulders. Your knees are hip apart. Take a deep breath. Exhale, round the spine, press your belly in, tuck your chin, hold your breath. Inhale, cow. Look up. Exhale, cat. Inhale. Exhale. Flowing here with your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, come back to your center. Walk with your hands gently forward. Tuck your toes in and gently press through downward facing dog. Again, if you're new to this practice, you can gently keep your knees bent just like that. Relax your head down, bring your heart through, take a deep breath. Gently look at your hands, walk to the center of your mat, forward fold, listening to your body here. Inhale halfway up, gently exhale down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, rising all the way up. Lean back just a little bit as you thrust your hips forward, palms together, slowly flowing down. Plant your hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath, high plank, bend your knees, keep those elbows in and slowly going down to vinyasa. Inhale, baby cobra, shoulders back and down. Exhale, center. Inhale, up dog, modified up dog. Tuck your toes in, press through, downward facing dog. This time, lift your right leg up to three-legged dog. If this is all you can do, again, listen to your body, or if you can go a little bit higher, do that. 
deep breath and gently come down to your knees. Bring your right foot forward. Keep your left hand down and twist here. Now this is your beginner's uh, dragonfly stretch and twist. You can also lift your knee up if you can, just like that. Again, listen to your body. Do what works the best for you. Deep breath. Coming back to your center. Now place your back leg down to 45 degrees. Place your right hand down and gently lift. Warrior two, make sure in your, sorry, in your warrior one, you're going to keep your hips square, shoulders relaxed, heart is lifted and take a deep breath. Open into your warrior two. Now in your warrior two, make sure your back leg goes to a 90 degree. Make sure this knee is always directly above your ankle. Your foot is straight forward. Open your palms and arms away. Shoulders relax, like your tailbone in. Take a deep breath. Gently reach forward and nice and slow do a reverse warrior. Take a deep breath, look up. Relax your shoulders. You can gently straighten the front leg, leaning back, opening the side body. And coming down to your triangle. This stretch is really good for your inner thigh as well as balance. Take a deep breath. Now you can keep your hand right here or you can extend it to extended triangle. So focusing on lengthening your body as well as you take a deep breath here. Maybe smile. And gently bend that front knee, place your elbow down and move into your extended warrior. Again, you can hold it right here or you can extend it. Always take your time, never rush through your practice. Make sure you breathe, listen to your body, notice what each posture is telling you. Take one more deep breath. Gently circle back down, plant your hands. Again, bring your knee down if you knew, and step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Inhale, rise your left leg up. And gently come down to your knees and bring that left foot forward. Again, bring your right hand down, inhale, twist, modified dragonfly. Same thing here, you can lift that back knee up into more advanced um, dragonfly. It's all up to you. Just listen to your body. Take a deep breath. Coming back down to your center. Again, back leg down. Give yourself a little push and rise up. Warrior one. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, open into your warrior two. Take a moment, notice your posture, notice if there's anything you can do to adjust. Little tweaks, um, little movements in your practice makes a huge difference. So take that time, deep breath. Reach forward, gently reverse, inhale. Gently straighten that front leg, deep breath. Coming down to your triangle. Listen to your body, breathe, enjoy yourself. This is your time to take care of you. Extend that hand if you can. Deep breath. Bend the front knee and extended warrior, deep breath. Slowly circle down, plant your hands, step back. Again, this is all modified postures for you. Take a deep breath. High plank, bend your knees, exhale down. Inhale, cobra, shoulders back and down. Center, modified up dog, bring your heart through, shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Step to the center of your mat or walk. 
forward fold. Again, you can optional keep your knees bent here if you're too tight in the back. If you can keep your legs nice and straight so you feel a nice opening in all the back of your body. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, down. Inhale, gently reverse swan dive. Leaning back, thrust your hips forward. Center, gently forward fold. Plant your hands, step back, downward dog, deep breath, inhale. Lift your right leg up. Again, bring your knees down, bring your leg down, and twist, deep breath. Coming back to your center, back leg down. We're gonna speed it up just a little bit, warrior one, deep breath. Open warrior two. Reaching gently forward, reverse, deep breath. Straighten that front leg, deep breath. Coming down, triangle. Extend the triangle, deep breath. Bend that front knee, extend that warrior. This also is very powerful posture as you're focusing on lengthening your body, also building strength in your legs, your hips, your glute muscle. So it's really good posture. Take one more deep breath, smile. <laughs> you on the candy camera. I just had to throw that in there a little bit. And gently circle back down. <laughs> Plant your hands, step back, downward dog. You gotta have fun too. And inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bring your knees down. Twist, deep breath. Got to take care of your spine always. Stretching, strengthening, bringing that mobility, flexibility always in it. It helps with daily life chores. Coming back down to your center, back leg down. Again, give yourself a push if you need to. Deep breath. Open. Warrior two. Check in your posture. Reach forward, reverse, deep breath. Straighten that front leg, deep breath. Coming down, triangle. Or extend, deep breath. Bend the front knee, extended warrior, deep breath. Again, you can go in your own pace, guys. Always listen to your body, slowly circling back down. Plant your hands, step back, downward dog. Deep breath. Look at your hands, step to the center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. And gently exhale down. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Palms together, leaning back and center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Plant your hands, step back, downward dog, deep breath. High plank, bend your knees, exhale down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, center. Modified up dog, downward facing dog. This time, lift your left leg up, bring it through, pigeon. Now we're gonna move into a little stretching. Stretch your hips, your glutes, and overall bring in the flexibility and the mobility in your body. So you're gonna lift your heart here. Shoulders relax, take a deep breath. And gently, when you're ready, you can come down to your elbows. I want to real quick tell you guys a little story. When I first started yoga practice, like 13 years ago, I had known nothing about yoga. I just knew it was good for you. I went to this huge studio up in Hollywood 
It was like on Hollywood and Sunset. And I went inside the studio. I was like, hey, I don't know nothing about yoga. I would love to try the classes. They like, oh, you came into the right place, da 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 da. I said, please put me in the most basic class possible because I don't know nothing about yoga. He says to me, no problem, I got you. This guy put me into Kundalini yoga practice. That's really advanced. And it's very intimidating for someone new um, to practice. So when I became a yoga instructor, I really wanted to take my time and educate you guys the basics of yoga to learn first of all your breath work gentle and easy postures to open up your body to get to know yourself and then move into the next level of the practice so this is what we are doing hatha yoga it's beginner friendly practice it's really important so you are lucky i hope that this practice is giving you what you came here for because that's my intention to give you something easy and effective and full of knowledge. All right, let's come back out and step back. Shake that left leg a little bit and gently move into a downward facing dog. So that's my story. <laughs> and it did discourage me for a little bit. Lift your right leg up and gently bring it through. It really discouraged me for a little while. I didn't go back. I bought like 10 classes, but I only used two because I'm like, this is too hard. She had me doing some really weird postures called breath of fire. So basically you go on your shoulders with your legs extended <laughs> and towards the ceiling, bring your elbows down. And she's like, stick your tongue out and go. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing to me? It was so confusing an over, overwhelming feeling I had. So, anyways, that's my story, guys. But here I am. I went back, and the second time I went back to the practice, here it is 11 years uh, later, I'm still teaching and doing better than ever. So never give up. Just keep trying until you find what works the best for you. Always remember that. Take a deep breath. This feels really good. You can also extend your hands down like that. Whatever works the best for you. Always take your time and listen to your body. And gently start to come back to your center. And go ahead, shake that right leg a little bit. Gently move into your downward facing dog. Notice how you feel now. And gently come down to your knees and move around and have a seat in a lotus posture. We are done with this flow. We're gonna take a minute or so to do a little meditation and check in with ourselves. Notice how you feel um, right now and what this practice has done for you. So sit nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. Take a deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Take a moment to be present. Take a moment to notice your energy. Notice how you feel. Beautiful. Meditation is so important as it creates more calm state of mind and it overall helps with everything. All the things we do throughout our day, being able to stay calm and centered is very important. And gently place your palms together, bring it to your heart. Take a deep breath. Take a moment to acknowledge this time give yourself thanks for taking this time to take care of our body, mind, and spirit. One more time, deep breath. Smile, open your eyes, and namaste. Good job, you guys. Make sure to leave your comments below this video. Let me know how this practice was for you. 
share with your friends if you want to see more of my practice make sure to go to sanellayoga.com until next time much love to you all and namaste